Northwest Trains, I'm Tom and uh, we're back in the loft again. Uh, we've got another sort of unboxing video and uh, we're looking at an old Hornby product as you can see in front of us. Um, I thought uh, it'd be worth taking a look at these seeing as the uh, the shock announcement of the uh, the new generic four wheel coaches that they're bringing out or four and six wheel coaches. Um, so I just wanted to basically show what we've had to use for the last, well, going back before my time, but uh, I think it's about 42 years, some nearly 43 years, something like that. The earliest uh, reference point I could find for these coaches was, um, I think it was 1978, and it was uh, consisted of a train set with three of these blue coaches here, and this little 040. Which you still have today, still works fine. Looking a little bit battered because I've had it since I was six, so it was uh, it was pretty old back then. And uh, I'm just showing quickly showing the catalogue. This is from, I believe, the 1990 catalogue Hornby. We have our uh, LMS livery four wheel coach, and uh, we've got two in front of us there in lovely condition. These are my brothers, by the way. And the Great Western in the background, they're also in the catalogue here. You can see the number. They were quite often featured in the Great Western mixed freight train sets, which I'm sure people have seen. Uh, it's been around for years. They just sort of changed the rolling stock slightly or um, changed the track, changed the packaging. But it's always the same loco. And we also got a track cleaner on the uh, bottom right there. That came as part of a little wagon pack. Back in 1990. So, and also, if everyone remembers the old Hornby Thomas the Tank engine range, I uh, also had this little clockwork set which came with these coaches. So, they were used for a wide variety of liveries. So, um, these are probably like collector's items now because Hornby don't do clock uh, Thomas the Tank engine anymore. They certainly haven't done clockwork for years, which is a shame. Uh, the coaches are around somewhere, I think, well, they're still at my uh, mum and dad's house. But I've uh, come across my old Hornby clockwork engine. I just need to get a key for it. But it should still work. It's looking rusty and tatty. And you can tell it's been well played with when I was younger. So, um, but yeah. So, here we are here. If you remember my unboxing video uh, from earlier this month. We have this uh, lovely Caledonian livery coach so we've got two of these and they were seven pound each so i thought well why not i know they don't really fit in with my layout but i thought to get them anyway because they're in such lovely condition and these i believe i think they're from the 1980 catalogue because uh, when i tried to research these coaches the earliest live we could find like i say was the blue ones here that came as the train set and that was in 1978 so that would make them 42 years old. Just see if I can get this out of the packaging. As you can see, everything's cardboard. There's not a not a strip of plastic in these boxes at all, apart from obviously the clear sleeve. Just try not to break the coach getting an out. I can just go off camera a sec. I've got to get rid of that piece of cardboard. So you can you can see why they changed the packaging over the years, can't you? Here we are. So as you can see, it's this sleeve of cardboard that protects the roof. It's a bit of a pain getting it out. But there we have it. So, absolutely lovely condition these coaches. They look like they've hardly been handled. I mean, you see my blue ones in the background there. We'll look at them in a sec. You can tell I've handled them. So they come with metal wheels, made in Britain, and their uh, product code. 
so they are stunning looking coaches I know they're not realistic I'm surprised someone hasn't made one in real life actually to match a Hornby one so they're just built basically on a wagon chassis see if I can get that off so these are my original blue ones you can see how play worn they are and they probably could do a bit of a clean but they've lasted all these years they've been battered around played with thrown in boxes without any real care and they're still going strong now still going on the layout and i think the wit worn out effect adds to it makes them look like they've uh, worked hard all their lives now i don't know whether this was actually this color or whether this is just faded over a period of time but this is a darker cream as you can see to the likes of these ones here these probably look a bit more realistic and look a bit nicer just see if I can uh, zoom in a little bit get a better picture of them so these are all around 20 years old I'd say I remember my brother getting these for uh, Christmas one year the LMS ones so again we're going back to sort of I'd say 96, 97 and considering they've been played with I mean these got plastic wheels which I don't think are as good as the older metal wheels so uh, must have been a bit of um, saving money around that time period and also we have this this was quite useful when I first started the layout the track cleaner you just simply pull these track pads off and put two new ones on double sided tape on and uh, it does its job it does tend to derail because it's not really heavy enough compared to the newer models that are brought out but it's good that they utilised the same coach so it must have saved a lot of money over the years um, so going towards what used to run with these coaches used to get these little cheaper locomotives I know they're probably not as cheap as they used to be but these are generally about £20 each £25 each so if you wanted a cheap model railway set up you could easily have two of those £7 each a nice little logo. I've seen these go for a tenner on eBay. Um, so if people are saying model railways are too expensive. They've got a complete train there for possibly less than thirty pounds. But uh, they've saved saved the uh, probably well over the years. But obviously now is the time for um, more realistic coaches. So it's going to be interesting to see what they like. Here's another example, the Caledonian Railway, so I could pull either of those two coaches up there. So um, what we'll, we'll do is we'll have a little running session with them all and uh, see them in action. And uh, we'll probably feature them again when uh, Hornby's new coaches come out. I've, uh, I've only ordered one set because I've already pre-ordered quite a few sets off uh, Hattons. So I've ordered a set that will go with me Terrier. So it'll be interesting to see what they turn out like. And it'll also be interesting to compare them to the Hatton coaches when they come out. So I um, hope you find this video interesting. And um, let me know what coaches you had back in the day. And um, like I say, keep an eye out for the next video with the, uh, the new Hornby coaches. So uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, see you on the next video.